Shamai Bloy the Nowd, Miss Jones here. I'm just going to talk you through the options that are available to you um, for your choices within the art department. We offer three subjects. We offer GCSE Art and Design, GCSE Textiles, and GCSE Photography. I'm just going to talk you through all three of these courses in a little bit more detail. So the three courses are all structured in the same way. You will complete a portfolio for each course and this is worth 60% of your grade. This comes from everything that you complete from when you start with us in the September of year 10 right the way through until the January of year 11. The way that the art and design courses um, are structured are slightly different to what you are used to um, out in terms of other subjects across the school because everything that you create will be seen and marked by the examiner. So every little piece of work will count towards you are doing. So you need to be really comfortable with making mistakes and learning from your mistakes and being able to speak about them and write about them to, to be able to get a really good grade for this 60% of your portfolio. After that, in the January then of year 11, you will start an exam. This then is worth 40% of your grade that you will get at the, year, at the end of year 11. So for your portfolio, so for this one, you get almost a year and a half to get 60% of your grade. And then for this one, to get the remaining 40% of your grade, you only get 12 weeks to prepare. So it is really important that you realise that as this is a big chunk of your grade and you need, you've got quite a lot of time to learn and to get this grade, but then you need to be able to make really good decisions on what skills you are going to show in these 12 weeks to get the remaining 40% of your grade. This exam is not a, a exam that you, were, that you would be used to. You will be given a theme from the exam board, a booklet of themes. Um, there's, there's about 20 themes in there and you pick one of those themes to build a personal project around in just 12 weeks. So everything that you learn here in your portfolio, you need to make sure then that you are using the, the skills that are best suited to show you and the best marks that you can get in these 12 weeks to get the remaining 40%. So the first course that we offer, GCSE Art and Design, this is a very broad subject, okay? Um, you can kind of explore this subject in any way that you want. You can look at drawing, painting, ceramics, printmaking. Uh, you can do a little bit of photography in there. You can do a little bit of textiles in there. So it is very, very broad. However, the way that we run it at the moment, it is heavily a drawing and painting based subject. In year 10, you are going to learn and develop skills you've already got and new skills. And the way that we do this is through workshop sessions and we run a portraiture based project. So you need to be comfortable with not only taking photographs of yourself and others, but also then drawing from those photos. So you will be required to draw yourself and to draw other people. Then in year 11 for the exam, you are going to use those skills that you have learnt and the ones that you are most confident in to respond to the exam style question that I've spoken about in a personal project. The images that you can see on your screen, these are images um, of past pupils work. So as you can see, the standard and the quality of work that we are looking for is really, really high. And these are this is the standard that we can get you to within our department. So if you're looking at this work and thinking, oh, I'm not quite at that standard yet, that's really, really good because we can learn and we can teach you how to get to this point. The second course that we offer then is GCSE Photography. So as the course title suggests, this is a photography based subject, but also very digital based as well. You need to be comfortable taking photographs but then also using software and apps to be able to digitally manipulate your photos so if you're not very confident in ICT 
maybe you want to think about going for GCSE Art and Design. If you were quite good with uh, with ICT and editing and different apps and taking photographs, then GCSE Photography is the option for you. So in Year 10, you are going to learn and develop photography skills. We will be mainly using phones to take photographs. We do use the cameras sometimes, but at the moment, uh, phones are... You know, the software on phones are much, much better than some of the cameras that we have got. So phones with cameras are really, really good. And then we're going to look at using apps and online software to edit um, the photos. Then the same as the art course, you then use the skills you are most confident in to respond to the exam question in a personal project. So for this course, you need to be willing to take photographs take photographs of yourself, take photographs of other people, but also you need to be confident enough outside of lesson time to go out and about, to go off exploring, to go and take your own photos. This course relies heavily on that. As we are in school, there's not many things that we can take photos of. You know, G-Block is not that exciting, neither is New Block. There's only a certain amount of photos that we can get. So we really need you to be able to go out and about into the community, going off on little adventures and taking your own photos. So if that sounds like something that you were good at and you'd be interested in, then GCSE Photography is the course for you. And the third and the final course <coughs> is GCSE Textiles. Now, this is a sewing and fabric manipulation based subject. The photographs that you can see on the screen, they are photographs of past pupils and past pupils work. So you are going to learn and develop skills again in workshop based sessions. At the moment, the Year 10 project that we do is all based around nature. And um, these are the images that you can see on the screen. You look at um, hand sewing skills, machine sewing skills, things like batik, um, fabric manipulation, lots and lots of different things, embroidery. So they are, that's the kind of thing that you'll be doing here. And then exactly the same as the other course, everything then that you've learned in year 10 and the beginning part of year 11, you use what you are most confident in to do an exam question in a personal project. So they are the three courses. And you might be thinking, OK, so how are these courses going to help? These are some of the, the jobs that you could get. I'm not going to read through these. I'm just going to leave them up on the screen and I'm just going to let you read through these at your own time. OK, so what skills are you going to need for either of these subjects that we've just spoken about? So you are going to need some creative thinking skills. You need to be able to think outside of the box to respond to all of these subjects. You need to not be afraid to make mistakes. Like I've said, this course, the biggest part of the marks come from your portfolio and everything that you make is going to be seen. You are going to make mistakes and those mistakes are really, really important because those mistakes you show, you write about, you talk about what you have learnt and you redo it in a way that you show that you've learnt from that mistake. OK, you need to be organised and you need to be able to meet deadlines. Um, this is something that's really, really important. So just to put it into perspective for you. An example would be your uh, observational skills that you have done in art this year. That task you have taken probably about eight weeks to do. 
at GCSE, that task, you will be given one week to do that task. So you need to be really, really organised to make sure that you are not only meeting our deadlines in the department, but that you are fitting in the work for all of your other options and subjects. You need to be again, um, have the ability to work independently because art takes a long time. There's only so many hours that we get with you in the department. And like I've just said, we set really short deadlines to be able to get you through the volume of work that is needed to get the really good grades for your portfolio. So you have to be able to work independently. So working on your own outside of lesson time. There is a lot of homework. And you need to then be able to do that alongside your other subjects. You need to be able to explain your own opinions. Now, this is something that I think is really, really important. Art isn't about drawing, just drawing. Photography isn't about just taking photographs and textiles isn't about just sewing. There is a lot of writing involved. And the writing is your opinions. It is how you feel about other people's work, how you feel about your work, what you have done, how you have done it and how you might do it differently. OK, so there is a lot of writing, but we have got the tools and the support there to help you to get that written work done quite easily. And the last point is the most important point. You need to be really, really hard working. I think you've all probably got the gist that these courses are quite intense. There is a lot of work. The expectations are really, really high and there is a lot to fit in outside of lesson time. So if you're not a hard working person and you're not OK with making mistakes and you're not very good at being organised and meeting deadlines, I would probably say that this is not the course for you. But if you're reading this and you're thinking, I am all of those things, this is definitely the course for you. Now, when it comes is it the right option for me? Which one do I do? Do I do GCSE Art and Design? Do I do GCSE Textiles? Or do I do GCSE Photography? If you are unsure, ask. Ask your teachers. We know what you can do. We know what you are capable of. All our contact details are here on the screen. <clears throat> they are also on the school website. So please, please, please drop us an email and ask. Ask us any questions that you feel you need the answers to to decide if either of these subjects are the option for you. Last point from me, and there's a bit of advice, I would not take more than one of these subjects. It is something that we do not recommend. We have had, or in the past few years, people taking art and design and photography. And I can tell you that every single one of those pupils has said that it is far, far too much. Because even though the courses are run the same and are structured the same, it is the same amount of work for the two subjects and the work cannot cross over. So you, whatever you were doing for art and design, you then have to do the same volume of work for photography, but it cannot be the same piece of work. So. I would pick one of these options and one of these options only. And if you are unsure about which option is the right option for you, please, please just drop me an email and I can give you the best advice that I can. So I'm really, really hoping that lots of you are looking forward to, to taking either GCSE Art and Design, GCSE Textiles or GCSE Photography, because it is a fantastic course, all three of them. There's lots of fun. And there's also lots of hard work. So thank you for listening, Year 9, and I will speak to you all soon.